I mean, okay. All right. <laughs> are, we, are we recording? I'm trying everything I can to not kill Max. All right, welcome back to another episode where we take a look at your cars. Today is a Subaru special, so I brought in a Subaru guy. This is Trey. Operations lead for Fibon Industries, and he also owns a Subaru. What do you got? Yes, sir. So I've got a 2012 STI, uh, third engine. So I think I know a little bit something about you know Subarus and the platform itself. Sounds like every Subaru owner I've ever talked to in my life. Hey, blown up engine number three, desk coaster. Baby. That is actually your piston too. Yeah, right? this is actually the one out of my car. So super clapped. There we go. So there's some cred. We got some street cred on the reviewing. Let's hop into this. Don't forget to add your car over at fitministries.com forward slash add so you can add to the gallery and have us take a look at it and help thousands of enthusiasts find their fitment. That's enough of the spiel. Wheels, tires, suspension, fitministries.com. Let's get into the first car of the All day. Right. Okay, okay, so we have a 2011 Subaru WRX STI on Sabrata TS10s, 18 by 10 and a half plus six, square setup obviously, because all wheel drive reasons. Yes, sir. On some Nitto Neo Gens, 215.40. That's a bit of a stretch on there, okay? And some good old fashioned airlift performance air suspension. The owner is Dylan Jangle. Hell yeah. That's a cool ass name. I like it. Um, see here. From the owner, we have some upper rear control arms, lower control arms, tow arms, running negative 11 camber, uh, built block, probably because it blew up at some point. Full Alexandra suede dash, that's a flex, with clock delete. Uh, oh, clock delete gauge pod. That okay, makes a little okay. more sense. Okay. I was like, <laughs> Ricardo <what>? seats, grip <laughs> royal wheel. I, I don't need time. <laughs> This thing okay, is, thing is a sick. stance Subaru. We got the reverse lip on the Bradas. Woo! Fender to lip fitment. Okay, hell yeah. I love that color too. It's super deep. Yeah. I like the carbon fiber trunk, the vortex generator, the diffuser. Yes. Did the wing delete on the STI? Yeah. The, trunk there? The, the rear of the car is very aggressive. For those, those rear control arms kind of stick out a little too much for me and my taste, but it's cool to they, see yeah, the they, aftermarket. They clash a little bit with the red, but there's, yeah. you, know, you can notice them. I do like the lift kit on here that flows throughout. You got the canards, you got the side skirts, you got the lip, and then all the rear arrow. It looks like too on the front, he's got like the OE massive style headlights. So mm -hmm. typically those are only offered for the WRX. So it's really cool to see him retrofitted on an STI. Oh, dang. Cause in order to keep like the HIDs, you either gotta get rid of them or change them to halogens. So it's super sick. Definitely taking your rally car and turn it into something else, but I don't mind it. I like Sans cars. So this one looks good to me. I think it's super sick, super clean build. Honestly, build the car you way, the way you want to. F the haters. And his license plate, I just realizes D's nuts. D's nuts? <laughs> Got him. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's give it a rate out of 10. 10 being the best Subaru STI you've ever seen. One being the absolute worst. Three, two, one, eight, eight. and a half. You always gotta start off kind of modest in the beginning. You don't know where the episode's gonna go, but we're on a similar page. All right, moving on to the next car. We have a 2017 STI on Kansai Roku's 18 by nine and a half plus 38 on Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Hey, nice tire, I run that on the soup. Um, 255, 35 on Fortunato coilovers. I also run those on the soup. Super functional um, looking. Yeah, owner is Ray STI6. Um, some information from the owner is Eastwood fender roller. So he used an Eastwood fender roller to roll the fenders, I'm assuming. Um, tucking tires with fenders rolled, negative two camber all around. Turbo XS front mount intercooler, Mishimoto short ram intake, parent inlet. TGV deletes, AEM fuel pump, Cobb stumble kit, Cobb uh, access port, NVIDIA catless downpipe, Grim speed, uh, EBCS, 93 oh, yeah. octane tune, and pro tune by all wheel drive tuning. Cool thing, funny story, my yeah. car is actually tuned by all wheel drive tuning as well. Hey, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're based Before or after the blow up, that's key. After the blow up. There it is, so they're good. good. They're good. Yes, sir. Your car's been running strong for a while. Oh, absolutely. 100% recommended. I think this is a solid build. It's it's nothing too crazy. The subtle accents of red uh, throughout really pull it together. Um, you can see like in the uh, grill there behind it, you got a little bit of red, you got the underglow, and then I believe it has red lug nuts too. So red's a really strong color. You just sprinkle it throughout and oh, it yeah. turns out decent. Yeah, it ties the whole thing together too. I think the only thing that's bugging me about it is like, it's all clean and simple and the splitter rods just really stand out to me with this one. They kind of 
They're just there. Yeah, you think? Mm. Some people are all about them. I had them on my yeah. ST. I'm not saying that I I dislike them. Just in this scenario, you I think, think. Maybe if they were like black, you'd like them a little bit better. Yeah, maybe a little more yeah. subtle. Or maybe a lip that you could run without them. I don't know. Overall, I like the subtleness of the build. I think it goes well, and it's a nice, beat the piss out of it functional setup. Mm -hmm. Back in my day, the world wasn't as crazy as it is now. Gas was 50 cents. I could buy my pops some cigarettes. <laughs> life, life was good. But now, now it's a different story. The world is a changed place and sometimes we need a little extra help and well, that's, that's okay. I'm here to tell you everything will be fine. Oftentimes you browse our website, fitministries.com and think, damn, I can't afford this. But then you see it, the light at the end of the tunnel. You see that FitmentIndustries.com offers as low as 0% financing through a firm. And now you can sit back, relax, crack open a beer or juice box while you wait for your brand new wheels to hit your doorstep. What the f was that? <laughs> Ready to rate it? Yes, sir. Okay, three, two, one, eight. Eight and a half. Oh, well, we swapped. Swapped. On the first to the second. Okay, all righty. Ooh, Ooh, we got okay. a hatch. So this is a 2010 STI on some Volk RE30s, 19 by nine plus 44, kind of a high offset. On some Nitto NT555 G2s, 245.40 on Megan Racing coilovers. This is Dom underscore Chang underscores STI. Full bolt-ons, 335 horsepower, nice. Uh, NVIDIA Catalyst downpipe, Grady exhaust, engine intake, PL equal length headers. Oh, equal length headers. Oh, most of you see where you guys go with the unequal length? Yeah. Interesting. I know, okay. I, I kept them on there, so. Mishimoto uh, radiator, stage three clutch. Brutal. Brutal. He getting that leg workout. Yeah. He, he literally put in parentheses. Brutal. Cobb access port, of course. eBay lip skirts. And then we got some carbon rear spats. Okay. We have a quarter inch spacer in the front. No spacers in the rear. Stance is nearly flush. I wonder if he had to put that spacer on there to clear the Brimbos. Might have, so. but also like, I don't know. I'm looking at these are higher offset wheel and they look a little bit sunk to me. You know, like you you could definitely, you got a little room to play on there. Like hello hello horns? I feel okay. like, yeah, you got hello horns too. I, I, that's another thing I think I'm kind of, I'm done with them, all right? You I've seen like them a them lot. Them. I, I think I'm over them. Dude, those add like 20. They are miles. loud, you honk. I've heard you do it. I've honked once They twice. be loud as I love the hatches though. Yeah, hatches are super timeless. I kind of wish they would have kept it going all the way to the new generation. Like imagine a 15 to 21 hatch, would have been super sick. And don't get me wrong, I love Volk, but I'm not the biggest fan of the RE30s. Mm -hmm. I think some like Workamotion D9Rs or something D9R, like that. D9R, mm. like Kiwami two pieces Ooh, on these, look super sick, super yeah. clean. Definitely, you know, you keep that uh, functional, but they, I just like the look of those a bit more. I'd like to see a little bit more arrow on this one. I really like when they take the this body style with the hatch and they do the wing. I don't know what wing it is. It's almost like a rally wing where yeah. it like lifts it up. Yeah, yeah, like I love how that looks on these. So that would be some feedback for me. What do you think of it, Trey? Yeah, I think it's super sick. Again, it seems like an OEM plus kind of build. You got the wheels, it's lowered a little bit, but I feel like you can do a little bit more to kind of like make it your own, make it stand out. And then after that, I think it's super sick. Maybe like some aftermarket headlights, change up the hood a little bit, maybe like a splitter. Oh, so. all right, cool. Let's rate this. Three, two, one, six Seven. and a half. Not too shabby. All right. The final car of the day. We got the good old blob by a 2005 okay. STI on some Enki NT03, 18 by nine and a half, plus 40. Federal 595, 245, 40 on K Sport coilovers. This is Zimzam underscore STI. And some notes from the owner. Front wheel spacers, half inch, no rear wheel spacers. Poking a little bit, but no rubbing or scrubbing. So definitely a bit of a meteor set up. And then you can see too, he keeps those coilovers a little bit higher probably because he has the thicker tires on here, an aggressive wheel. But man, I love how those wheels look on there. And I gotta say personally, for me, the Blob Eye is my favorite generation really? of STI. It I'm is. I'm on Team Hawkeye. I oh, can't okay. lie. All right. I had one and I had an 06 STI. I loved it to death. Same chassis though, so it's all the same love. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Wheels on here look super clean. Big fan of them too. They're almost like timeless looking on this chassis. A hundred percent. Dude, with the Blob Eyes, I, less is more to me. Yeah. I love how this looks. I like the exhaust coming out the back of the mm -hmm. can on there. The you know what I'm can. saying? If I were to ever get an STI, 
I would want it to be a white blob eye, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because I watched Born to Race too many times or something. <laughs> I don't know. But I love these cars, and I think something simple like this looks timeless. It looks clean, and like I would break my neck if this was driving yeah. on the road. I, I don't know why the simplicity of it. I just like so much, but it's it looks because good. you don't see them clean anymore. True. Honestly, like all yeah. the ones you see around town, or at least go to meets and stuff, they're all they're either super overdone or super clapped. Honestly, Damn. so like seeing laying it out. Hey, I'm just being honest. Seeing them this old and this clean, super awesome. Sick. All right, let's give her a rate ski. Three, two, one. 8.5. Yeah, Eight I'm right there too. I do love Blob Eyes though. So that is taking a look at some of the STIs from our gallery. Let us know your thoughts down below and what you'd rate them because I'd like to see. And then Trey, before we leave, I need you to do your best impression of dial-up internet. <laughs> That was, that, was, that was honestly better than most of them on the show, so I'll, I'll give you that one. Wheelsiresuspensionfitministries.com and get your car out of the gallery so we can review it and you can help hundreds of thousands of enthusiasts find their femin. Talk to you later. We should probably go check on like your oil level. We should, should see if there's any the shiny the flakes in the oil, Don't stuff that. like that. that. We should that. go launch Don't it. Let's that. go launch nope. your car. I've done it once. You were in it. Yeah, yeah, it, it was terrible. His Subaru does rip. How much horsepower is it at? 447 all wheel horsepower. Yeah. This it, is what it looks like. There you go. Nice. It does rip. It, it's pretty quick. It's quick. Let's go we, break it. Oh. <laughs>